Stand by for a lightweight clash in the 70 kilo division between Ning Wong Yo from PRC and Kwon Asol from Korea. So let's just take a look at the tail of the tape. Pretty even all over. Yeah, pretty much. I give the ground and pound advantage to Ning Wong Yo. He's probably physically much stronger. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Okay, watch the back of the head, watch the groin. Okay, no kick to the ground. Okay, fight hard, fight clean. Touch gloves. Well, you can see by the tail of the tape that we're meant to be even in height, but Kwon Asol is definitely three centimeters taller than Ning Guang Yu. But you've got to say, you've got a personal insight here to the Chinese fighter. Will that matter, the height difference? Uh, well, definitely striking is not Guang Yu's specialty, but he's not a total newbie to striking. He has competed in, in Sanda. He comes out in the southpaw position. This may offer some problems for Asol. I expect, I expect Guang Yu to go for the takedown quickly if he gets into trouble on his feet. Well, he's had an incredible wrestling career and background. The Chinese fighter 67 and 5, his competitive record in wrestling. So watch out the Korean if it goes to ground. Now you've rolled with this Chinese fighter Ning. You've even been taking on a bit of travel, I hear. Yeah, with him as we, well. we are good friends back in China. We were roommates also for about a year and a half. So you managed to travel to his hometown with him? I, I took a trip with him to uh, Taishan Mountain in Sandong province uh, after we both won in Art of War 11. Good experience? Great experience. <laughs> yeah, great experience. It's a fun guy to travel with. Ooh, hard left. Seems strange talking about your holidays while we're in the midst of Legend Fighting Championship 3 as they set off against each other here. Oh, watch for that body lock. Ning from China in the black tights. Surprising Quan with his striking, with his barrage of strikes. Quan looks frustrated, a little surprised. Well, he was certainly talking it up in the pre-fight videos. And uh, I believe they told Ning what he was saying too, so he'll be an angry fighter. Yeah, definitely. Quan has done a good job to upset, to upset Ning Guangyo here before the fight has started. <laughs> What do you think of that trash talk before the fight? Are you a fan of it? Well, you know, in, in fact, it, it, it works. I, I guarantee it's, it's affecting Guang Yo's focus because he has a bit of a temper issue. Yeah. Uh, we might see some of that <laughs> later in the fight. Southpaw stance from Ning. Oh, big hard overhand left. Oh, tries it again. Quan wise to it now. Some good lifts coming in from Ning. Ning winning the striking exchange, I'm a bit surprised. So is Quan by the looks of it. Well, this is what we've seen time and time again in Legend. There seems to be weaknesses in a fighter's background and they've worked so hard on it leading up to fights that it almost becomes a strength. The other fighter doesn't expect it. Quan. Quite a life story. Comes from a tough town, Mokpo, the port town in the south of Korea. And it's known in Korea as the city of tough guys. Look at the intensity on Ning's face. See Ning's record, he has one defeat on his record and I was there watching that fight. Bashed repeatedly, put in a triangle and he did not tap. He just fought it until he went to sleep. There's real courage under fire there. Mike Rehu was born, Blood Anderson, one of Asia's top martial artists. Lucky to have him here in commentary. There's a personal, personal connection to many of the fighters on display tonight. Thank you, Mike. Good to be here. This is a great seat to watch all these exciting fights here at Legend 3. Getting fight coverage from one of the best production teams as well in the region. No signs of fatigue yet on either fighter. Good kick. Oh, lost his mouth guard. Quickly collects that. Strong fan. One thing I've noticed about Ning is that he leaves his mouth open. That's not the smartest thing to do. You can see uh, maybe this uh, mouth guard falling out will remind him to keep his mouth open.
mouth shut. Bite down on that mouthpiece a little. It's got to do with the shock in the jaw, is it, if you take a punch? Yes, definitely. Into the last minute of this first round. Three rounds in this fight. Oh, got a nasty head knock there. Head clash in Quan is not a happy camper and pulled out. Ning took advantage of that. He turned his head, maybe a hit to the eye by the looks of it, obscuring his vision. He might have got a finger in the eye there. Can you see? There seemed to be a head to head clash as the doctor moves in. He's been kept very busy tonight. So let's take a look at what caused this problem that Quan's having. Here, standing off each other, yes, real head yeah. clash there. Does look like a hard nut, that Ming skull, that's for sure, as we restart the fight. Seconds left in the first round. Will Ning move in for some advantage? 30 seconds left. Maybe should be throwing some lefts there at that injured part of Quan's head. Really protecting it there with a high right. Really protecting you in this situation. Well, what I like to do from the southpaw stance is bash that inside leg, that front leg. Guangyo is not really so well versed with kicks, but he's doing a good job. You can see the bruising. I can remember the first round as I can remember in Quan's last fight. Every time he hit his opponent, he really bashed him up, leaving big bruises. Ice is nice for Quan Asol as the corner looks to fix that nasty head clash he got with about 45 seconds left in round one. Okay, you ready? You ready? Let's do it! So round far he's starts. remaining composure. Quan in the camouflage. Ning from China in the black tights. Hey, there's a high kick. Don't forget Ning from a wrestling background. Oh, some nice stand-up action for us to start round two and oh, that connecting again with that left. Yeah, that's a big high left. And that's connecting where Quan's had the problem, just over the right eye. That's one of the advantages of being a southpaw. A lot of people don't have experience fighting people who are throwing their power hand on the left side. You see Ning Guangyo connecting almost always with that overhand left. Not bad for a wrestler. Quan with a kick of his own. Got some great fights coming up tonight. A couple of welterweight bouts. Basically playoffs to a championship belt, belt title in LFC 4. So that's ahead of us. And also the big boys, the heavyweights are out and about tonight too. Kevin Fitial from Saipan takes on this young sensation from Korea, Hungry Young. Quan there, just stepping back out of the range of that big left hand. And throws a right of his own there. Gives Ning something to think about. Look at Ning's mouth wide open like that. I'd really like to see Ning change up his approach. He's been throwing that overhand left way too many times. Sooner or later, Kwong might catch on to it and counter. Three minutes left of the second round. It's interesting to see in this fight, Kwong isn't using his legs so much. There's the, there's the body lock, there's the body lock. No. Yeah. Ning, a renowned wrestler, so a bit of a surprise. We haven't seen any ground action so far. Oh, there's another kick to that right thigh and some real bruises appearing there on Ning's leg as Quan moves in. Good aggressive fighting from him. There's that overhand left. Maybe time to change it up. A bit of blood on the cauliflower ear there of Ning as well on his right ear appearing. You can see, although Quan hasn't hit so many, so many hits, Every time he hits, he leaves a mark on Ning's body. He's really a powerful striker. Oh, 
Are you surprised that Ning hasn't gone for any takedown? Uh, not at all. It's not a good idea to fight on the ground with Ning Guo. No, oh, you're talking about Ning? Yeah. Yeah, well, here we go. Oh, back on the feet. Big right hook there from Quan. Oh, big knee. Oh, oh that's got him. That's rattled him. Knee to the face of from Quan Asso. And Ning in a bit of trouble. Takes a breather on the ground. Minute 40 to go. Quan dives in there with a the fist. Oh, strikes him again. Well, this, is the, this is the break Quan's been waiting for. Yeah, he was really looking for an opening. But look how quickly the wrestler gets up. There's that body lock. Oh, Ning. Maybe gets one to the nether regions of Quan there. Looked accidental, but now we've got some blood coming out of Ning's nose. Well, both fighters... <laughs> Both fighters doing everything they can to upset the other, whether through tash talk or low blows, both of them getting a much needed break. Well, oh. there were real alarm bells going off in Ning's head there. Okay. He was certainly in a dangerous position, wasn't he? But managed to get up in a flash. Three low blows in a row. So both fighters taking some knocks here. Bring it, asshole. Ning got a couple of big rights full on in the face. And Quan taking some low blows then when Ning managed to get back up to his feet. But yeah, I'm really surprised that Ning's not going for a takedown, as I mentioned earlier, Vaughn. See, that's the thing about, I've noticed the same trend over and over with Korean fighters. They're really good at maintaining distance, getting out of the way, avoiding the body lock, avoiding the takedown. Real handy skill. Oh, oh, another big hand. knee in the head. Not used to those knees by the looks. Coming from nowhere for him. Blocks the kick nicely. This action moves into the corner. I predict, literally. I predict another big knee on the way. Yeah, literally cornered here. The Chinese fighter takes a right. Quan really getting aggressive, enjoying himself. as we approach the last seconds of round two. What, oh. an what an exciting fight so far. Nice counter in Quan, it's really loving his time. Ning as well. Good to see. Listen for the bell here. There it is, end of round two. What a good clash we've had so far from these two talented athletes. Quan Arsol clapping to the audience saying, is that what you wanted? Well, you got it. Blood, sweat, and controversy. <laughs> Take a look at the replay here. An action-packed second round. The big overhead left there again. The mouth guard falling out. And Quan getting a nasty head knock. Ning taking advantage of that before the referee could call time on that one. Ning again with those overhand lefts. One too many perhaps. Quan just finding his distance nicely. Getting a nice big kick in. Goes to ground briefly and then Quan. I would call the fight even so far. Again, a great difference in styles between these two fighters. Really surprised we haven't seen more on ground action. But as you say, the Korean keeping his distance, going in when he can and really taking advantage. Finding some holes in Ning's defense as we get into this last round. What an exciting clash. Look at the welts on the body of Ning. On the legs, on the ribs, and on the face. Well, he knows he's been in, in a fight, that's for sure. Blood on the air, blood on the nose, welts on the leg. Another candidate for fight of the night, that's for sure. Last round. Last round. Ready. Ready. Spike. Well, I believe this round will, will be the one that decides the winner. No clear winner yet. Who would you back in this position? Well, I have to go for my good friend, Ningguo. <laughs> Quiet hush falls over the crowd. So wait for more hot action. 
Huang seems to be waiting for that overhand left. Yeah, and Ling's cocked it too. Goes to the jab on the right hand. Huang moving in, always moving forward. Danger of the kick there, Ning. Look at Ning baiting, dropping his hand and baiting. Yeah. Boxing's really important. I've trained with him. Two very brave, fearless fighters here in action. In Legend Fighting Championship 3. Juan the Korean in the camouflage. Ning in the black tights from China. What a fascinating last three or four minutes we've got of this fight. A real slugfest crowd pleaser. Spent the first minute and a half spelling each other out again. I must, Someone's I must admit though, Ning does look the more tired. Oh, nice combination of Juan. Really gets things cracking again. Ning not scared to leave with, the, leave with his head there. Overhand right this time. Oh, knee action from Quan. Doing damage. Remember how powerful Quang's attacks are. Every hit counts when, it, when you're fighting Quang. Will that wearing effect? Oh, there's the, there's the take. Oh, stifled. Watch the knee. Again, Ming taking a lot of damage there. Powerful knees from Quan. If you were in Ning's corner, what would you be shouting now? What's the way through? What's the way to win this fight? Well, I think he should keep going with the takedown attempts. In the first round, he was winning the, the striking exchanges, but I think the tides have turned. Kwong is now leading in the striking exchanges. Ning would be smart to take it to the ground, where he would have the advantage. You can't really see in this shot, but Kwong has enormous thighs on him. Look there, through the shorts. Certainly got a lot of power, and that probably helps too. Fending off these takedowns. This is actually the first time Ning Guangyo has competed at the 70 kilo division. Normally he fights at 66. Finding it a real challenge to take down the larger guy. Two minutes to go. Oh, big shot from Quan. Quan can sense victory here. Ning dazed, but back to his feet. So resilient, the Chinese fighter. There's the body lock. Does he have the gas? Talk us through the hooks here on this hole. There's the takedown. But Quan back on his feet. Oh my God. Well, he can sense victory, the Korean. He's not going to let this one go easily. The crowd really revving him up for the last minute and a half of this fight. But it's Quan's fight to win, do you think, at this stage? So, yes, I think Kwong's got this fight now. What Kwong Yo has to do is really put on the pressure, take a few risks, go for broke, try to smash out a win. The Koreans really had some good defensive answers in this clash, though. Fending off the takedown, stepping away from that powerful overhand left. You notice, too, that Ning's dropping his guard a little. Not a good choice. And again, the open mouth as well. Well, be tough to see this fight peter out. Hopefully it's got some action left in the last 30 seconds. Oh, another big kick from the Korean. Very powerful leg work from Juan Asol. Ning Guang Yu, no, he's, he's got to go for it in this last 20 seconds. 20 seconds. What's he got? Can he connect? Quan even having time to give the itchy foot a scratch before he moves in the last 10 seconds of this fight. Oh, some kicking action again to finish the fight off. What a fantastic fight between these two prime athletes Definitely. of MMA. Real exciting clash from Quan Asol and Ning Wang Yu. We'll have the decision after this break. Welcome back to LFC 3, where we've just had a fascinating matchup between Quan Asol and Ning Guangyo. 
Here's the decision. All the judges score this contest 29 28. For the winner by unanimous decision, Yeti Kuteng Yi Sengchuk Hai Kwon Asu! So the Korean takes the victory. Expected Vaughn? Well, I was a little disappointed, of course, being a good friend with Ning Wang but Kwon deserved that win. He really put on a good show. It was a fascinating Did encounter, wasn't it? I mean, Ning probably had the best of the first stanza, but then Kwon really turned the tables and met out some punishment. I, I got to hand it to him. He's a tough guy, but now he's got a title shot against Adrian Pang. I don't expect this fight to be so easy for him. Pang is also a tough guy. Well, that could be the measure of some debate there, whether his inability to make weight, he'll still qualify for that championship belt <laughs> tilt, I guess. So that's one to be talked about with the legend people. But great victory for Quan Asol.